It's the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday, January 30th. I'm James Spann. Rain returns before the weekend is over and sharply colder weather for the state early next week. Hey, don't forget the uh, big weather tour. First alert storm team on the road kicks off next month. The annual severe weather awareness tour across the state will be in Clay County Tuesday evening. Cherokee County Thursday evening between 4 and 6 30 just come by and see us we got some cool stuff to give away hope to see you there sunny but cool today these are some sky cam shots this coming from Trussville a cloudless sky there up in Hamilton a few cirrus clouds and it's Chihaw State Park in East Alabama nothing but severe clear the uh, big story of course is that storm in the western states a lot of rain in Arizona We'll see rain uh, tonight and tomorrow in Phoenix, but the rain will be gone by Sunday for the Super Bowl. And that'll come on across the southern states, and that brings rain to Alabama on Sunday. As expected, cooler today. You know, we saw some low 70s on this map yesterday. Today, upper 40s and low 50s in most spots. Birmingham at 50. Around the Great Lakes, even colder. They're below freezing up there, and in that cold air, some snow is likely. Over the next 36 hours, winter storm watches in effect from near Des Moines over to Chicago, Indianapolis, Cleveland, and Pittsburgh. Uh, by the way, the counties in Mississippi highlighted that is a child abduction emergency, an amber alert. But thankfully, the uh, child we understand was found uh, unharmed today, which is always good. Rain for the next five days. Uh, rain amounts, I'd say, one half to one inch. And the bulk of this will be on Sunday, as you'll see. Check the uh, GFS. This is the 12Z run, valid at 12 noon tomorrow at 500 millibars. Big storm in the southwest will be lifting out. Uh, rain west of the state, but around here we're dry. We start the day down in the 20s, but the high should be in the middle 50s. Sunday, here comes the rain. Sunday at noon, the rain will likely begin. Big snows up north in the cold air. Chicago, Indianapolis, Detroit, Cleveland. This is Sunday night at midnight, 12 a.m. Monday. The surface low deepens over West Virginia. Snow intensifies over Ohio and Pennsylvania. And down here, we still have rain. And by Monday morning at 6 o'clock, a chance the rain briefly changes over to snow flurries. We've talked about this for days. A no-impact event. Temperature should be above freezing. The deeper moisture off to the east. And the sky most likely will start to clear by Monday afternoon. But a pretty chilly day. The high only in the lower 40s. And that north wind will make it feel colder. Tuesday, we're in between waves. It should be a sunny day with a high close to 50, but Tuesday morning's going to be cold. We'll be in the low to mid-20s to start the day. And Wednesday, here comes the next wave, a surface low in the Gulf of Mexico. And the northern edge of the rain kind of waffles from run to run, but I think we'll mention rain statewide. Uh, no snow, no ice, just rain. And then Thursday, uh, that rain is out of here. Probably clouds will linger. Uh, we'll be a bit uh, chilly with highs in the 40s. And this is Friday, a week from today. The weather cold and dry. Start the day in the 20s. And again, the high would probably be in the upper 40s if this is right. We'll check the end of the forecast the 9th of February. Uh, troughing in the east, ridging in the west, but the amplitude not extremely high. And again, that just looks kind of quiet. Temperatures coming off the ensemble. You can see no really harshly, bitterly cold air, although we'll certainly see some cold snaps with highs in the 40s and lows in the 20s a few days along the way. Arctic Oscillation next week goes negative. It looks like the bulk of the cold air flushing out of there will be headed for the Great Lakes and New England. The NAO barely in negatory, in negative territory. Then it goes back toward positive range in about 10 days or so. That is it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. My next video will be posted Monday morning at 7. Brian Peters, the man that looks like Colonel Sanders. We'll have these video updates here tomorrow and Sunday. If you can't catch us this evening on the live stream of the television site, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend, and God bless.